Okay, right here is the 1980 Coring 1166E. Coring was the first United States company to develop a large hydraulic excavator that was targeted specifically toward the mining and quarry industry in 1973 when they launched the big 1266D. Four years later, in late 1977, Coring launched the smaller 1166E as a gap filler between the 1066 and 1266 models. The 1166E was also the second in Coring's mining line of hydraulic excavators to be introduced. Now let's go and get a closer look at this big excavator. The 1166E was available from Coring in either front shovel or backhoe configuration, depending on what the customer preferred. In front shovel configuration, the 1166E was designed to swing a bull clam ranging anywhere from five to six and a half cubic yards. In backhoe configuration, the 1166E was designed to swing a rock bucket ranging anywhere from as small as two cubic yards to as large as five cubic yards. Forty-inch crawler shoes were standard for the 1166E. However, Coring also offered optional narrower 32-inch crawler shoes depending on the applications that the machine would be working in. To help give you an idea of the size of an 1166E, this excavator measures 12 feet 7 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 14 feet 4 inches wide at the catwalks. Right here you can see where the two boom cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. From here you can get a good view of the machine's hydraulic system. Now let's go up inside the operator's cab. The door on the cab of the 1166E slides open to allow access for the operator to get in and out of the cab. From here you can get a good overview of the inside of the cab on an 1166E. Now let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Okay. The two joysticks that you see on the right and left side control all the digging functions of the backhoe out in front, or if the machine were set up as a front shovel. The right hand joystick controls the boom and bucket functions, while the left hand joystick controls the stick and swing functions. These two foot pedals that you see on the floor control the travel functions on the excavator. Each foot pedal controls each individual track. Off to my left side, here you can see the switch to start the excavator, to stop the excavator. Here's the headlight switch. This hand lever that you see controls the engine throttle. And out in front here you can see all the gauges to monitor the excavator while it's running. This is for the fuel, 
hydraulic oil temperature, water temperature, oil pressure, and over here is for the volts. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running an 1166D. Located directly behind the operator's cab sits the diesel fuel tank. And here you can see the cap to fill the tank with fuel. Okay, inside of this compartment, here you can get a good view of the big diesel engine that powers the 1166E, which is a Detroit 12V71T turbocharged V12 diesel engine that produces 464 horsepower for this excavator. The 1166E was also the largest co-ring excavator that was single engine powered. The next size up, the 1266D, was a twin engine excavator. And on the top of the engine house, you can see the two exhaust stacks. Inside of this compartment, here you can get a good view of the hydraulic pumps on the 1166E. And underneath this compartment, here you can see the hydraulic oil reservoir tank. And from here you can see all the hydraulic lines running out to power the attachment in the front. And right here on the side of the excavator boom, you can see the plate that says Coring, and you can see where it says model 1166. From under here you can see where the two travel motors are located to propel each individual track. And looking up you can get a good view of the superstructure on this excavator. And on the back of the counterweight you can see where it says Co-Ring. And the overall operating weight of an 1166E in backhoe or excavator configuration, as you see right here, can range anywhere from 95 to 96 tons. In front shovel configuration, the 1166E weighs in at 98 tons. The 1166E was discontinued in the mid-1980s, and by 1993, Coring had withdrawn from the excavator market, leaving only three models in production available only as scrap material handlers. But there she is, a 1980 Coring 1166E.